Here are four abandoned places on Route 66 in Arizona. Number one, Fort Courage. Located very close to the New Mexico and Arizona border, right at the exit for Hope is Fort Courage. This abandoned trading post was inspired by the popular 60s TV show F Troop. And the most notable feature of this stop has gotta be the giant guard tower that you can actually climb to the top of. Fort Courage closed in 2014 and it has been rapidly decaying since. There's quite a bit more to explore here, including a gift shop and an abandoned gas station that still has the gas pumps out front. One of the coolest spots though has to be the abandoned pancake house that's located right behind the gas station. There's a ton of stuff that's still left over here. Even all the booths are still inside. Traveling further down Route 66, your next stop will be Meteor City Trading Post. This store and roadside attraction closed in the early 2000s, catering to the people that would stop at the giant meteor crater that's located nearby. You're gonna find a lot of old teepees here, which are in all different states of decay. A few years ago, somebody bought this property and has plans to fix it up. So they put some fences around it and they boarded off the main trading post. So you can't really get inside that anymore. There are still a few buildings that you can go and see, including this one that looks like they sold food at some point. There's also this old trailer that's parked out the back, and that's definitely worth stopping in to explore also. From what I read online, the new owners were planning to reopen in 2018, but from looking at the signs on the front of the building, it looks like they're still trying to raise money. Number three on our list is Two Guns and the Apache Death Cave. There is a ton to see at this stop. The first being this giant gas station that is actually labeled Graffiti Gas Station on Google Maps. And just from walking inside this place, it smells so much like spray paint that I guess it's named pretty well. Most everything's been taken out of this building. It's still really cool to look at, especially if you like graffiti. Walking up behind the gas station, you'll find some old water tanks and the remnants of what was once a motel and I think later turned into a camping area. The coolest thing though has to be this in-ground pool, which is one of the coolest things I've seen on Route 66, and definitely worth stopping and checking out. At the same exit, a little bit further down the road, you're gonna find the remnants of what was once an old zoo. From what I understand, the original owners of this property opened this zoo in the early 1920s, and today there's all sorts of ruins of old animal cages, lots of stone buildings. You can follow the bridge across this small gorge, to see even more ruins and this crazy circular building that I heard was a Texaco gas station at some point. As with a lot of these stops on Route 66, there's some sort of gimmick or tourist trap and this one is the Apache Death Cave. Apparently back in the day there was a lot of fighting that happened between the Apaches and the Navajo Native Americans that lived in this area. The story goes that there was some Apache raiders that pretty much killed a whole Navajo tribe and when another Navajo camp caught up to them, they trapped them in this cave and pretty much burned them alive. 42 Apache Native Americans were killed here and the same owners that opened up that zoo decided to make an attraction out of it. Today, there's only one small building that's right on top of the cave, but you can still go down inside of it. The entrance was a little sketchy, but I ran into quite a few other people that were exploring it too, so it wasn't that scary. If you decide to venture into this cave on your own though, just be aware that this is in the middle of nowhere and you're really on your own, so take proper precautions and don't get hurt. Number four on our list is Twin Arrows Trading Post. Unfortunately, in early 2022, one of the arrows that made Twin Arrows so famous fell over, so there's only one arrow standing currently. This was once a pretty vibrant gas station, convenience store, and cafe that was even featured in the movie Forrest Gump. You know that scene where Forrest is running and gets mud on his face and then wipes his face with a yellow shirt? That was filmed right in front of Twin Arrows. Today, this place is covered in graffiti, but you can still go see the remnants of the cafe and there's quite a few buildings to explore around the outside. Now, keep in mind, if you wanna visit any of these sites on your own, you're doing so at your own risk. It doesn't seem like no trespassing is really enforced in the area, but just keep that in mind. You might be breaking the law if you do go inside and check out some of these areas. I made full vlogs of all of my explorations of these four spots. I'll link them in the description and I'm also gonna put a playlist up right here at the end where you can watch all of these videos and also the rest of the videos that I made exploring abandoned places in Arizona. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more adventures.